Hi guys, I'm here with Norm Rex to tell you more about how politics affected the rerouting of the Lincoln Highway through Northwest Ohio. The Lincoln Highway is a coast-to-coast -coast system of roads that was created in 1913 as a memorial of Abraham Lincoln. Norm, what two cities did the Lincoln Highway connect and how many states did the highway go through? Twelve, going across from New York City to San Francisco. And why did they choose the route that they did? Of course, the deciding factor was the best existing route at the time. So if we could project ourselves back to uh, 1913, it happened to be that the road that was selected coming from Upper Sandusky to this area was what now we know is Route 81. Do you think that there was anything other than what the most direct route was at the time that affected why the towns were included along the route? So there was a lot of politicking going on, on a, and the best politickers had the most influence. But if not in first place, it had to be a close second, was that there's no question they had the best route at that time. The fact that Ada was involved politically at the state level, uh, I think was a benefit uh, because who was a professor here, an outstanding professor, Willis, uh, well he became governor. Uh, of course he had some influence. Uh, so Professor Willis had enough influence to get Ada on the route. Did he have enough influence to prevent any rerouting that would bypass Ada? looked at all the different routes going across, we would see how it's moved a number of times. The original route between Upper Sandusky and Lima is shown here in blue. After leaving Upper Sandusky, the route went through Forest, Patterson, Dunkirk, Dola, Ada, and Lima. The first change to the route, shown in green, was to move it north between Forest and Dunkirk, bypassing Patterson. The route was also moved north between Ada and Lima, changing which road the highway entered Lima on. The second change to the route, shown in red, was more drastic than the first. The route went straight west out of Upper Sandusky, bypassing Forest, Dunkirk, Dola, Ada, and Lima, to then join the original route north of Lima. Norm, looking at the map, the final routing of the Lincoln Highway makes the most sense. Why was this routing not used originally? From there west to Beaver Dam wasn't developed, it was a mud road. So they knew they couldn't take that route, but ultimately that route, of course, won out because simply it didn't have to, it crossed the railroad, the Penn Central or Pennsylvania Railroad most of those years, uh, seven different times getting from Upper Sandusky and counting Upper Sandusky. So you had a lot of railroad crossings, and that, of course, was not desirable. That was a straight you didn't have to turn except for a little curve at uh, Gomer. So it's faster, a little shorter on it. Of course, they always wanted to select the best road. They wanted to keep that, and as it's proved through the years why that's you know been the goal. The politics didn't end with the Lincoln Highway. Route 30, which replaced the Lincoln Highway through this area, also had politics when deciding the path of its route. We had 30 south and 30 north. You know why that happened? You want to hear why that happened? Did you ever hear of Warren G. Harding? President Harding. Where was he raised? Marion, Ohio. Now, I wonder if that had any influence with his changing from when the, the Lincoln Highway left Mansfield rather than going straight through the Crestline area and so on, it turned south and now came through Galleon, Marion, Kenton, Marion, Kenton, both county seats, so he had a lot of strength on doing it, but it made it a little longer on it, then straight through in the south of town so 309 at one time, for a very short time, was on the maps as 30. Well, Congress got split on it. 
So they just had a real big battle, but he won in that they created, okay, we'll make a 30 north and we'll make a 30 south. So through this part of Ohio, we'll have two routes. Right. So when I was growing up, I was 30 south. <laughs>